yet another intro that needs to be refilmed, but this time, you guys, I'm the bearer of good news. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share another grocery haul and meal plan video. And today is the video I've been dying to show you my big, huge grocery haul of 300 plus dollars that I purchased when I first went into my girlfriend's home for a big family of 10 at an HEB plus. So it was the first time I had ever been there. My girlfriend wouldn't take a dollar from me. So I went to the store, I love me a new grocery store, and I went and spent over $300 getting everything we we would need for lunches, breakfast, dinners, and everybody's favorites for, like I said, two separate families and a family of 10. But I wanted to pop it back on here and refilm the intro because the grocery haul itself was filmed on her kitchen table, but this intro is being filmed in my rental. So we were able to secure a rental just a couple of days ago. I am super excited. I've been cleaning like crazy and unpacking boxes and trying to get us situated. I did do a little bit of grocery shopping, a few items from HEB, a few from Walmart, a few from Trader Joe's. So I have another video coming up in just a couple of days. That's a cumulative haul of all the things that I picked up. It's a peek into my pantry, my fridge, my freezer, and what our meal plan is for this week. But I didn't want to miss out on sharing what I got last week because like I said it was my first time inside of an HEB and I had been dying to go so I didn't want to miss out on sharing that with you guys so let me take you down to her kitchen table I'll show you what I got at HEB and then we'll get into what I fed our family of 10 last week okay you guys so here is what a quick overview of $330 looks like at an HEB plus so those are a few things that are not here on the table that I did purchase. I've already cooked a dinner tonight. I'm going to pop up a picture here. I made some chicken Alfredo. I already used some of the broccoli, but some of it's still here to show you. But I got a big pack of chicken. Half of that I've already put in the freezer. The other half I sauteed in oil and garlic and used for the chicken Alfredo. I got a double pack of cream cheese and two things of rotini pasta. So that I've already used. Otherwise, I have to say, you guys, I was pretty impressed with the store. It was so large that we were in there for two hours and I didn't even get a chance to see everything. So I'm kind of really looking forward to diving into this grocery store because I've heard so many amazing things about it. So I kind of separated things while I was putting it on to the table. Like this section is just the stuff that she made a list of that she needed. And then this is our stuff and then the stuff that we needed for meals and lunches. So I did try the HEB organic orange juice. It's 52 ounces and it was only three bucks. So I thought that was a pretty good price. And then speaking of good prices, they have a bunch of like little clips all around the store that hang coupons, which I thought was amazing um, because these organic bars were only $1.98 and then there was a dollar off coupon hanging by them and you can use as many as you want. So I got one of every flavor and only paid 98 cents for this box. So it's the HEB -E Organics Strawberry Fruit and Grain Bars. So you guys know my kids love their granola bars. So this is the strawberry and then I also got the apple and then I got the organic chocolate chip chewy granola bars so again 98 cents for all of them I thought was a really good deal uh, and then I picked up some fruit snack stuff this was on sale for three bucks this is like those ropes I've gotten them a few times in a few different places and my kids really love them so these are no high fructose corn syrup and there's a half a cup of fruit in each pouch and there's six pouches in here and they're wild berry flavored fruit snack so I'll use that for Mason's lunchbox and then these were on sale for five dollars and eighty cents so that's like a dollar fifty cheaper than the Walmart grocery pickup at my house so I picked that up I was excited um, to see that for such a good deal these I thought were kind of pricey I feel like I need to go to like BJ's or Costco or something um, the, but you guys tell me this was $9.98 for 20 pouches of go go squeeze and so there's 10 apple apple five apple banana and five apple strawberry and these are the non-gmo ones uh, and this is also the halloween pack so it has like um cute little halloween decorations on the applesauce pouches so i thought that would be cool for mason's lunches for you know the next week or two coming up leading up to halloween
Halloween. Uh, I did pick up these Mott's apple juices. So when we stopped in a random grocery store, uh, I ended up picking up the Mott's applesauce like pouches. That was the one that Amanda from Mom's Messy Kitchen, that was the one she suggested. I thought it was go-go squeezes, but it wasn't. It was Mott's that have the new clear front so you can see inside. Um, and they were a really good price and the kids were really liking um, the Mott's applesauce as well. So I've never seen the juice pouches. And so I decided to try them. They're non-GMO, no sugar added, 100% juice, apple, white, grape. And there's eight pouches in here. So just to switch up from some of the normal stuff that we've been doing. Um, and then these were $5.98, which I thought was a pretty good price for 18 of them. It says they're lunchbox ready. Comes with three original, three sour cream, three cheddar cheese, three barbecue, three pizza, and three cheddar sour cream. So I thought for everybody's lunches, plus snacking for Daryl and stuff on the road, whatever, I figured this would be a good solution. So I picked that up. And then, okay, if you guys have been following me for any length of time, you know how I feel about my Entenmann's. And so to see Entenmann's coffee pods in pumpkin spice, I almost lost my mind. The only Entenmann's I've ever seen are the three little hot chocolate K-cups that come in a box that I get from the Dollar Tree. So pumpkin spice, um, like Entenmann's coffee pods, I cannot wait to try these in the morning. I'm really excited. So that looks really good. Uh, and then these are some things I picked up for Jake. They didn't have his normal cookies and cream, so I picked him up the Hot Fudge Sunday, which is the only other one he likes. I was going to pick up a small box, but they had no small boxes of any of these kind of flavors, only like strawberry, blueberry, that kind of thing. So um, this is something that Daryl enjoys to take like quick in the morning too, so I figured the two of them could just split the box. But I did get the Simply Pop-Tarts again for the kids. They weren't really crazy about the apple cinnamon ones, but they really did like the strawberry. So I got the non-GMO ones for them for that. Speaking of Jake and like his lunches, I picked him up some more Duke's shorty sausages for his lunch along with some pickles they start school this week so like i said we're back to lunches and all that so my mindset was trying to prepare especially since we're out of everything um heb had this huge healthy living aisle and in it was like rows and rows and rows of loose things that you can pack yourself flowers sugars erythritols nuts mixes all sorts of things very similar to whole foods so i got this raw mix that has almonds cashews walnuts and pecans in it and this is like i love my trail mix and this is perfect for me to just take when i want to snack on the go so i got that for me and then i picked up the whipped cream cheese even though i got that double pack of cream cheese that was more for recipes i used one full eight ounce for that alfredo and then we're making cream corn this week and i think it's another recipe that needs cream cream cheese too so I pick up this plain cream cheese to make those cream cheese sandwiches for Jake with the cucumber again and then for bagels and then I picked up a regular thing of the HEB sour cream so we can use that for enchilada night HEB had these little yogurt things again so I was really excited to see that for uh, Mason's lunchbox so this is the chocolate cookie with the vanilla yogurt and then the chocolate chip cookie with the strawberry yogurt so that'll be good for his lunch boxes this week and then they had the chilbani gimmies in the tubes not the squeeze pouches but that's fine because there's a lot of extra kids in the house and they all like these little yogurt tubes and you guys know those chilbani gimmies i complain every week are almost five dollars for just four so this paid to just get the tubes since everyone's been pouring through them all at least all the little kids so i picked up that that. and then now we're getting into some of the stuff that um, I had picked up for Marissa so her husband brings um, crystal light in his water every day to work so she got him two of the wild strawberry that he likes the best and then her daughter is just a little over one and so she uses some of these little pouches as like a quick meal thing and I actually picked up a bunch of fruit I'm going to try and do for her what I used to do for my littles and just make these pouches we ordered the ones on Amazon that are empty and so we're just going to make some fruit and, and fill them so I got the banana kiwi a few of those got some apple mango and spinach banana mango apple banana mango apple again and then apple cherry 
and apple blueberry green pea. So I know all of my kids always loved those also. And then these we picked up because it was a sample. They were pretty good. And apparently they went so fast. This was the very last box in the store. There was none in the back, none anywhere. Last one. And people were like ready to jump me in the cart for it. So they must be good. So I picked them up and they're H-E-B brand pumpkin flavored muffin like granola bar kind of things filled with cream cheese. So I thought that would be good for a breakfast or a lunch. And then I picked up a ranch packet. You guys know that means I'm gonna make my ranch dressing while I'm here. And then two different things of tortillas. The carb balance for my family to do the enchiladas and then they like their regular H-E-B flour tortillas in the burrito style for their enchiladas. And then back here, this one's ours. I've never seen the mini double chocolate, only the white like filling donut with the chocolate on the outside. So I know Daryl, the kids, they'll all go bonkers for that. So I picked up a little box of that. Um, Marissa said she needed tissues. So we got a four pack of the Kleenex soothing lotion. She got two Power Aids for Chuck, and then he loves Pop Tarts too. He likes the strawberry frosted. He takes one of those to work every day. So she got uh, she put that on the list to get him, and then she also put these. He likes the Lance crackers in the peanut butter and honey. I wish I could get my kids to eat stuff like that because that's super convenient for a lunchbox, I feel, but my kids don't really like any of that stuff. Um, she also wanted the sugar-free uh, jello for her daughter, so I picked up some of that. And then here is the enchilada sauce for enchiladas, and then mayo for the um, ranch dressing. So I got a thing of that, and then this is just a shredded uh, chicken like white already peeled chicken um, it's not bad it's five dollars uh, I feel like you probably could do this better yourself cheaper um, but for convenience Marissa said she really likes this and it was easier for her to just use this to give her daughter like for a quick lunch or make chicken salad for us for a quick lunch so I picked this up to store that in the refrigerator got a watermelon. I was happy to see watermelon we haven't had one in a couple of weeks I know my kids are going to be craving that she wanted bat brownies for her oldest daughter and for her husband as a bedtime snack. So I picked up some of those. And then Chuck also likes his goldfish. So picked up some of that and then got some of the buttermilk complete pancake and waffle mix. I have my waffle iron in the car. So I'm gonna do um, waffles and pancakes, bake the whole box and freeze them so that we have quick breakfast for the kids this week. Got a thing of the Cottonelle toilet paper you can tell that was on her list and requirement because I prefer Scott's so uh, that's definitely her um, choice and recommendation and then I did get uh, two things of lunch meat that is ham down there and then some turkey just for sandwiches for the guys and like I said back to school for the kiddos and then this was uh, some fresh cut Genoa salami Maya likes that and I like that with some cream cheese so I picked that up and then a pineapple we're going to use that for some of the baby's food a four pack of the everything bagels they were like just coming out of the oven so they're super super soft so my kids will use that for breakfasts and then um, three pairs gonna use that for the baby food got some petite cut and peeled carrots for lunches and snacking got some bananas for the kiddos got some of these Jimmy Dean meat lover these are the simply scramblers you just add the eggs and stick this in the microwave so I got these for Daryl for before work so I got him the meat lovers one and then the bacon one um, Marissa asked I pick this ice cream up for her it's her favorite it's called cookies over Texas and it is a cookie dough and Oreo cookies and cream in one definitely not my thing because I'm not one for cookies and cream but she said she loves it there is the buttermilk to make the ranch and then a big thing of laundry detergent because mama is behind on laundry so i got a big thing of the odor fighting persil that's my favorite and then a two percent back there and then a whole milk right here for the kids and adults recipes cereal all that good stuff and then i found my rebel ice cream and it was really fairly inexpensive at this H-E-B. So uh, I got the coffee chip. That's the one I haven't tried before. I had the mint chip last time and the cookie dough. So I'm excited to try that. 
and then two different things types of bacon um, I know she said their family prefers the thick cut for our family the thick cut ends up not being enough it's so thick that if we have BLTs you, you can't even get more than three sandwiches out of the thick cut so I got the thick cut for them and then the applewood smoked for us um, for recipes breakfast for dinner and um, some lunches and then she had some steaks in the freezer we only needed one more so we got this um, strip steak just $6.39 for the one but that'll be perfect for what else we need it for and then two cucumbers a thing of red seedless grapes two things of Mexican cheese and then a big thing of pizza rolls for lunches and just because there's so many kids and people it's like just something quick to throw in if we need something to munch on and then a thing of curly fries we're gonna have that with steaks I got that for my goddaughter she likes to eat those when she gets home from school so they're just the garlic chicken and white pizza lean pockets and then we also picked up the corn dogs so uh, my goddaughter likes to eat those when she gets home from school too as well as a lunch for the kids to take to school or for Maya for staying home uh, certainly just an easy lunch for them and then I picked up the party pizza pack for a quick lunch for Daryl just so he kind of knows like what's his and what he can just throw in if he's hungry so pick that up for him and then picked up some ice cream sandwiches uh, that was um, my girlfriend's treat to Mason um, he was really really good and she told him if he was good she would pick him out one of his favorite things and you guys know he loves his ice cream sandwiches so this is the Neapolitan kind vanilla chocolate and strawberry so he'll be excited to see that and then they had a the huge like Boston butts on sale for 98 cents a pound so this was only eight dollars for this mondo piece of meat so even if we cut that in half we wouldn't need all of it so uh, I'm really really excited to make pulled pork it's been a while I have my smart bun so I can have it on that so I'm definitely excited about that and then a thing of the Eglin's best that's the best eggs I can get inside of a regular grocery store if I can't get my Walmart really expensive brown organic eggs that I love so much uh, got a thing of fresh raspberries got some organic angel sweet tomatoes got some fresh blackberries got some organic strawberries and then here is the broccoli that I got and I already used two crowns I bought three and two I used inside of that broccoli chicken alfredo and then whew, that was it guys so that was my first experience at HEB definitely excited about it so now let me share with you what I'll be making for our family of 10 okay you guys so this meal plan was for October the 21st through the 27th which was my first full week there and the week that I shopped for in that grocery haul to make these items so uh, on Monday we ended up doing steaks with curly fries and leftover broccoli uh, we just had the steaks on the grill but the kids took the steak and we cut it up that one that you guys saw and the extra one that she had and we used it for steak quesadillas and it was absolutely amazing um, and then on Tuesday she made a big pulled pork that was really really good I usually make that but she wanted to do her own little twist and spin on it the way her husband likes it so it came out really really delicious we ate on that for like a couple of days like you can see leftovers the next night and then we had it for lunches uh, we made some mac and cheese and she made cream corn um, it's actually her recipe that I tweaked a tiny bit that I share in my cookbook so if you guys didn't know that I have a cookbook it's always linked in the description box below but cream corn is in there and it's actually her recipe tweaked so that was fun to make that with her and then like I said on Wednesday we did leftovers and then Thursday we did breakfast for dinner and that's when I batched and did all the pancakes and waffles I made that whole box and filled her freezer with pancakes and waffles this way we were able to feed the little kids for the next couple of days and then all of us and we did some bacon that I bought and then she had sausage in the freezer and then she also had hash browns so we made that and it was really delicious I cut up the watermelon it was a yummy dinner but you guys know I love my breakfast for dinner uh, another recipe in my cookbook is the enchiladas and they have never had that before I actually laughed I'm like you guys you're in Texas like there's tons of Tex-Mex 
places all over the place here. You've never had enchiladas, so they did not have them. Uh, I made the beef kind, the traditional one that I have in the cookbook, and I did that with some Spanish rice, and they really, really enjoyed that. So that was fun to make for them. And then um, we ended up doing just like appetizer food on Saturday. We're trying to like clean up the fridge and the freezer and kind of pulling everything together. So we did nachos and quesadillas with like the leftover insides of the enchiladas. We did that. She had mozzarella sticks. She had pizza rolls and chicken nuggets. So we just kind of did some Miss Mosh kind of food, and that was really yummy. And then on Sunday, I made chicken parm and salad, which was really delicious. Uh, I love, you know, bringing my little Italian flair everywhere that I go. So I love to cook a good Italian meal when I'm staying at someone's house, and doing that with salad is always a win. So that is it, guys, for last week's meal plan. I do have a new meal plan for the cumulative grocery haul that I have. I went to HEB, I went to Walmart, I went to Trader Joe's, and I have all of those like cumulatively in one little haul for you, plus showing you, you know, what I have in my pantry and fridge and freezer. So thank you guys again for all of your support. Everyone sticking with us. We still have kind of a long haul to recoup from this stuff, but we're definitely on the horizon of good things to come. So I really appreciate all of your support. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.